Hello friends, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a library haul. Now I went to the library with my husband and my son a few days ago and I got these books and um, I haven't started reading yet because <laughs> yesterday, um, when the day I got them was Saturday um, and we were doing a whole bunch of like cooking and we were doing a whole bunch of just like family activities and then Sunday um, my husband and I got sucked into playing Diablo 3 which is always fantastic I, I love Diablo 3 like it's it's a super fun game um, if you're not into video games that's okay it's uh, an Xbox 360 game it's also a PC game I believe um, but yeah, we had a lot of fun over the weekend. We played some board games. Um, we ate some brownies. It was fantastic. But that's not why we're here. I have books, and I'm going to read them this week. Um, the first book is actually, it's a library book, but it's not mine. Um, I have a, a friend who also uses the library, like our county library, um, cause they have branches spread out everywhere. So between me and her, like we both have a branch that we use. And she got Wondersmith by Jessica Townsend. And I know I hauled this a while ago and I put it down. While I'm picking it back up, I'm ready. Um, I read about 70 pages Friday night. Um, we hung out Friday and she handed this to me and she goes, okay, whenever you get done with it, just let me know. I'll come grab it or you can return it or whatever. Um, I'm super excited about this. It's the sequel to Nevermore. I'm liking it so far. Super good. Uh, moving on really quickly. Now these are the books I got. Um, good morning, good night, little pep talks for me and you by Lynn manuel Miranda, illustrated by Johnny Sun. Um, I've heard great things about this. I saw it and I was like, I just picked it up and I said, you know what? I'm going to try it. So it's just, it's really short. It's really cute. It's just little tiny little pep talks, just like it says. Um, here, I'll just, I'll, I opened up to a random page. I'll just read this to you. Good morning. Your worst fears about yourself only need a drop of attention and sunlight to grow quick and wreck your whole shit. Clear away those weeds. Take time to harvest your strengths and your joys. Water and sunlight, the best in you. I like it. It's cute. Um, I'll probably be copying my favorites from here into my reading and writing notebook. I think I might do that. Um, this shouldn't take long at all to write, um, to read. So I'll probably read it this afternoon. Like, not gonna lie. Um, the next few I got are poetry. So. Um, the library, when I walked in the door, had a whole poetry just set up going on display. And I saw these two and I was like, yes, please. Um, if They Come For Us by Fatima Asgar. Um, I've heard, I heard of this somewhere on booktube. Don't quote me on that, but I know I heard about this somewhere and it looked fantastic. It has beautiful cover. Um, I opened up to a random page and I, I started reading it and I was like, you know what? I don't need to read anymore. I'm going to bring it home. I'm going to love it. I know it. So I'm excited for this. This also shouldn't take me very long. I might read it over the course of a few days just because I like to absorb poetry slowly and really, really get the, the nectar of it. Um, and the same is with this one. It's I Wore My Blackest Hair by Carlina Duan. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I should have looked up how you pronounce it before making this video. So my apologies. Um, again, same as the other one. This just had some fantastic looking poems that I started reading and I was super excited about. Super cool. I'll be reading this, of course, over the next few days as well. Um, and then the last three, I think I mentioned in my last library book haul that I've been getting really into cookbooks. And so I'm trying to um, really expand my cooking abilities and really expand, you know, the, the types of foods I'm eating. Because my husband and I, we have, of course, our favorite meals. And so, of course, we want to, like, make those over and over again. And so we're trying to extend a little bit of more variety um 
not not because we're like picky eaters, but just because I mean, we have our favorite meals. But if we can have even more favorite meals, why not? You know. So I got the Keto Paleo Kitchen by Vivica Menengas. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, now with one of the keto cookbooks I got last time, it had a lot of specialized ingredients that we were not going to spend money on and I didn't realize a lot of the recipes had specialized ingredients. Um, so I, ret I went through it, I maybe got four or five recipes that I was interested in and then I returned it to the library. This one I'm hoping is better. Um, yeah, this one I'm, I'm really hoping it is better. Um, I, I was looking through it and I mean, it has a lot of good seafood recipes, which, you know, I'm all about. Well, maybe you don't know that. I really love seafood. Seafood is one of the things that I just, I flock to. I love, 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 love seafood, especially shrimp and scallops and oh, just so delicious. Anyway, so we'll put that aside. Um, and then I got the diabetes cookbook. Now I don't have diabetes, but diabetes runs in my family. So part of me is terrified that I will get diabetes. Um, and I have a 40 to 50% chance of developing diabetes within the next 10 years, um, simply because of my, my pregnancy situation. Um, but yeah, so this is Taste of Home. Taste of Home is like super popular, super well known. Um, and of course I couldn't pass up the beautiful dessert on the cover, like, come on. So that's that. And then this one is the McDougal Quick and Easy Cookbook. Um, and this is low fat recipes, but um, which I didn't, I didn't fully realize until after I had checked it out and I was in the car and we were heading home. But what really hooked me on this was the quick and easy part. You know, prepare in 15 minutes or less. Um, part of the reason why I have a hard time um, want, like having motivation to prepare food and really like branching out in the kitchen and really wanting to cook it all is because of how much time it takes. Like cooking and preparing food is a lot of time spent in the kitchen. And um, it's not necessarily time I want to spend in the kitchen. So if I can make it quick, I can make it fast, I can make it easy, then that's something I want to do. Um, and so I, these just have some, some really great um, vegetables, barley pilaf, vegetable grain casserole, um, you know, mushroom sauce, roasted red garbanzo dip, which I mean, I'm all about. Um, Italian bean medley, you know, four bean chili. Um, yeah, this, this looks really, really good, honestly. Um, yeah. So I'll be reading this. I'll be looking through it. Those are the books that I hope to be getting to soon. Um, I am hoping to, to read, like I said, these four um, let me see if I can show them to you so that you can actually read them. <laughs> um, but I am hoping to read these this week. Um, Wondersmith might take me a little bit longer. It depends on how much I read at a time. Um, I am a slow reader. I only read like 60 to 70 pages an hour, which is on the slower end. Um, but these other three I should get through relatively quickly. Um, but that's that's really it. That's all I have to say. I'm I'm excited to get back into my reading. Um, poetry always gets me back in the mood um, when I can find some really good poetry that hits me in the feels and and really gets me thinking and gets me you know empathizing and and gets me um, remembering. Then I really really appreciate that and I really love it and it gets me wanting to read other books and other things. Um, and so I'm super excited. And thanks for letting me share those with you. Thanks for just, you know, being here. And, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.